Best Woodle Dog Breed Guide. What's in a name? For the dog we are discussing today, the answer is everything. Woodles have a catchy name, likable personality, and a tremendous amount of energy. This mixed breed is becoming popular with a lot of dog owners, especially senior citizens and children. This adorable dog is the result of crossing a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier and, of course, a Poodle. And luckily for us, this dog seems to have inherited all of the cutest traits from both its parents, making it a very unique breed indeed. We are going to cover all of the things you need to know before bringing a Woodle into your life, from the grooming responsibilities all the way to how to get the most out of this smart and charismatic animal. Before we get started though, if you guys could leave a like, it helps us out in a big way, and we truly appreciate it. Background and Origins Like all doodle breeds, to know how this dog will act, we must first take a look at the behavior and characteristics of the parents. Starting with the poodle side, we know a great deal about this breed, which is one of the most popular in the world. Poodles got to this level of success because they are super intelligent, and as a result are easy and entertaining to train. Today they are mostly known as a designer kind of dog, one which can be groomed in a variety of ways and taught a bunch of highly difficult tricks with ease. There's more than meets the eye here, however, as poodles actually got their start in Germany, fetching bird carcasses from hunters and showing a great ability to swim and retrieve. Perhaps this fondness of water aerobics is the reason why poodles have the hypoallergenic and non-shedding coat that has become so coveted as of late since their fur dries very easily. On the other end, the soft terrier, as they are often called, got its start in Scotland, where it was mainly used on farms to help out. Amazingly, dogs such as the soft terrier were almost required on such farms, as they lessened the burden of responsibility for farmers by so much. This dog also helped with hunting, and would even take things into their own hands and eliminate pesky critters hanging around the homestead. These traits helped to make the soft terrier a highly intelligent animal, and thankfully that trait from both them as well as the poodle was passed on to the woodle. The size of the breed. Woodles are fairly small dogs, which is a big part of their charm. Despite this, they do come in three different size categories, toy, miniature, and standard. A toy woodle will stand at a little under 10 inches and weighs less than 20 pounds as a full-grown adult. A miniature will stand at around 15 inches or less and will weigh less than 30 pounds and a standard Woodle will be taller than 15 inches and heavier than 30 pounds. Overall for the breed though, they will usually stand at around 20 inches and can usually weigh up to 45 pounds in many cases. While they can sometimes get pretty big, this dog definitely has a small dog's temperament, and so keep in mind that the size isn't going to change their personality all that much, and they're still going to be the same energetic and curious dog at 20 pounds as they will be at 45 personality and training. The Woodle has the kind of personality that people seek out, which is why so many dog owners absolutely rave about this doodle. They are energetic and always want to play, and will most likely greet you excitedly at the door when you come home every day. Woodles can become a little down when their excitement isn't being matched, which is why some people find it helpful to take care of a Woodle in a family environment. These dogs need stimulus, like toys or activities, to be happy, because they're just so darn smart, and it's a unique requirement that Woodle owners know all too well. While training is easier because these dogs seem to have an endless supply of energy, some owners can get worn out from their surprising levels of endurance. It's worth being prepared for this kind of thing, and to come up with strategies to keep them happy and engaged when you might not have the energy to entertain them on your own. Grooming and Diet Besides keeping their energy levels down through exercise and activity, these dogs are also going to need a healthy and steady diet in order to be at their best. Woodles do well on dry food, and the more important element here is making sure they're getting the right kind of kibble. Look for natural ingredients with a healthy portion of protein from dog and animal sources to make sure you are getting your dog the right amount of nutrients. In order to avoid some health issues, you should also make sure you're not overfeeding your Woodle, as they're always going to be ready and welcoming of another meal. Consulting with your vet to find out the right amount is a good idea here, and in general, creating a healthy relationship with your dog's healthcare specialist is always a solid plan. Another important person you're going to want to form a bond with right away is your groomer, since Woodles have a slightly different kind of coat. Theirs is long and has curls that could tangle if you aren't keeping a close eye on it. 
Woodles usually require a good trim every 8 to 12 weeks because of this, and the easiest way to do this is to send them to a professional. You should also see if you can get them to trim your dog's nails, as this is otherwise a job you're going to have to perform on your own. As long as you start them out at an early age, you should be able to trim their nails on your own without them freaking out, but they can become a bit sheepish if you wait too long before trying it out. Exercise Even though woodles require a lot of attention doesn't mean that they need to be exercised that hard, and they should be more than okay with just a daily walk or plenty of backyard time. There are plenty of exercises that you can do for or even with your woodle in order to keep them in tip-top shape. But more than anything, the consistency is the important aspect to this. Woodles are both energetic and smart, which can cause a multitude of issues if you aren't properly exercising them. These dogs can not only make a mess of your home, but can create complications and even exhibit behavioral issues if you aren't properly getting their energy and stress away. Be sure you can commit to at least 15 minutes of exercise a day if you are looking to add a woodle into your life. Health and Care Like all dogs, the woodle is going to eventually run into health issues as they age. Fortunately, woodles possess a few health advantages as a mixed breed, and that comes in the form of hybrid vigor. This essentially means that mixed breed dogs have a healthier go of it for the first few generations and rarely inherit any sort of genetic disease or issue from their parents. Despite this, you should still be bringing your dog to the vet for regular checkups, since it gives your dog's healthcare specialist a chance to evaluate them and make sure that problems aren't starting to develop. Some problems that Woodles commonly run into involve eye problems, kidney issues, Addison's disease, and retinal atrophy. Pricing If you've made it this far and are still interested in a Woodle, then it's about time that we discuss pricing. A Woodle pup starts at around $1,500 and goes all the way up to $5,000 depending on factors like location and genetics, making this a fairly expensive pup. Woodles are yet another doodle breed that is becoming popular, and prices are taking quite the hike as a result. Feel free to shop around as much as you like, but be warned that paying less than $1,500 might cost you more in the long run than you would save, as these kinds of breeders often cut corners that can lead to some health problems for your dog down the line. And that about wraps up our guide for the wonderful and quirky Woodle. What do you guys think of the breed? Let us know in the comments section down below so we can take a look. Like we said earlier, if you have a moment to leave a like, we would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one too. That's all for us. We'll see you guys on the next video.